the 3D printer build already done. Now it's running uh, testing the heat heater here. Not heater, hot end. Yeah, hot end. This one hot end. So this is a software, Kira, uh, custom custom make version. You cannot download this from Kira website. You need to download from the my Google Drive or, or whatever link I, I provide. So inside this system, you have um, uh, auto calibration called micro micro make debugger used to leveling this a little bit. So we will found that don't have any adjust screw in here. This is only all, all running automatic. So this is a new PLA that free. Now I will open up and use to test it. For a good quality element they got package very nice with some uh, dry powder or something. Do not store your filament in a wet location like humidity very high. Try to keep it in the box all the time if you're not using it. So you will get a hard hanger here. Hanger. Up this flame. Yeah, keep the hanger inside. Hold it here. Right. Okay, this is the come out from the back. So before you put in, I would suggest do if you found that the frame already curved like this. Try to cut it, make it flat. Help it, help this easy to put to, to, to fit in. Okay. Release this screw. Put in. So the human will go through this uh, tube and go to this hot end part. So we just just keep fitting in until you feel stuck. I push more until you see some filament come out. So you can you can see this right? Okay. So after you finish this, this you need to lock back. You don't need to lock very tight, but at least this one cannot come out with some a little bit force. Okay. So now we we'll start the. So now the hot end is function because it's heat up only can come out. Every time we put up the printer, the right side we got a fan here. This will always switch on. It will turn forever to close. For this fan is used to cool down the inside it, inside this hot end. If we, if this one not run, do not print anything try to contact me or replace the fan to whatever friend okay now 
I'm going to run the auto calibration. So, uh, okay, I let let try uh, close this first. I will cool down. The, I will cancel the cool down. Let the printer cool down. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So this is the first time you see, uh, the printer start. So you need to at least set up one time for the calibration. So the calibration is here. Machine and debugger. Uh, machine debugger. So after you open up, you've got the screen. Okay. So motor setting. You press reset, it will everything go to top. So like this. So it's going up to top mean reset. So after that, just now I already heat and put and fit in the filament. So now it's fine. And now it's starting to cool down. So ex exclude and retract. You need to test if you exclude the, fil the filament spool, meaning this one will fit in and come out. Retract, we will retract back. Lah. But if you without heat up, these two cannot function. But before that, I will run the auto calibration first. So you go to the second tab called auto level and press start. Okay, the screen a little bit bright. <coughs> Let's focus a bit. Come on, focus. Uh, okay, so press start. It will start to run. Calibration. So you see, this is a end stop for hold on. If anything happen, press this button. This is reset button. If you press this button here, everything will stop. Include the heating. It will stop and will not work anything not work anything just uh, for emergency stop so it look like it's working fine so let it run for a few time and find the right spot on this this hot end uh, uh, this print bed okay I, mean, I might have some screw loose so it's showing a good sound Oh, no, this is a root sound because I use a this table is not not stable. That's why you got so a loud sound there. So this is a normal functioning time, uh, functioning sound. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, just let it run automatically. Check every single piece, not vibrate anything. So you can simply understand the sound is come out from inside this liner, leg, linear. Inside got some ball, so we need to put some oil. Lubricate it. So it's running a lot. We will run like. Eight, nine times to find out the tolerance. Okay, so the max tolerance now is zero point two nine. Because uh, setup for here is three, 
you can simply set it more detail with low down this but you will spend more time on running this thing but like example now I will put as 1 5 0 0.15 I want the difference between them is 0 0.15 but it's fine it, it, it should be okay uh, let, let it maintain on 3 now it's 0 0.29 okay now I go to parameter in here you found I already found here is a uh, the print height is three point uh, three one nine millimeter point three seven so root length is two one oh you, you if you point on the those value it will have an uh, explanation okay give me some focus come on focus okay you will see some text here like increase this value if print model is larger than expect so everything you need to tune out uh, very detailed if uh, like the printer printing printing item is bigger smaller or everything like this one as origin the radius increase the value if the printer if the print model is convex like box at uh, uh, blocks at middle or decrease the value if the pin model is concave so all, all adjust is just number here and uh, limit switch also we got the offset up and up down so I will do one set put it to bottom now so to find out the actual location of this so come down I need my camera come down come down, come down, come down, come down, come down. you if you can see this okay okay you can you can I need to point up if you can see this Actually, you still got some space around one millimeter, around that, one millimeter, one point five or something. So this is a uh, offset to protect the print head, not straight directly to your back, the print bed. So to protect your print bed and both protect protect protein. So this one you need to manual set from here. Uh, from the print height so if you point it print height here it will, it will see the increase of value if the nozzle position is too high so now it's too high I want to increase it try not to increase too much and uh, increase just gently now I know it's more than 1.5 I might increase one one millimeter so it's a uh, 319 mean 320 okay save it okay before before I'm sorry before doing this you need to remember record down the number I use a sticky note to record down the number so just now is 319 this is the original reading that get out from the machine keep this first I forget it now. So now save and put the bottom again. We will repeat this process until the print head is stick uh, close to the pin bed and around one one sheet of paper bottom. Okay, now it's over because you can see actually it's touching touching down. So one mm is too high, too much just now. So my, I'm I'm wrong. We need to get it back to uh, just now is one nine, and I increase the value behind. So I put, just now is three one nine three seven. Now I put three one nine. I, I decrease a bit. Uh, three seven. I will put like five seven. save and go again to continue this pro process over and over again until 
the print head is put down here with a paper with a sheet of paper so can take a sheet of paper try so you can see actually Okay, now still uh, still got some space, but it is able to increase a little bit more to get more sticky. So just now it's five seven. Now I put five nine three one nine dot five nine. Just increase a little bit, like zero point zero two millimeter. Save and button. Uh, what happened dog? It's not my dog. I did. Okay, looks fine now. Let's try to print something. Let's try to print something. Save. What do you thought? Save and close it. And I got a sample model from here, from this one. This one is a robot. Uh, it's good idea to use this as the first print. So PL, PLA temperature normally you will go to print temperature around 190. Uh, then print speed, if the default print speed is three is 30. 30 millimeter per second, uh, but I will think uh, to uh, increase it a little bit to 45. So temperature I can keep it maintain it 200. So 40, 45 ms per second, mm per second, and 200 temperature. So support material no need. I don't need for this screen and uh, nothing else. Okay, let's try to print with USB. So this is print with USB. Okay, set it to home. And uh, try print. Okay, cancel first. Uh, before sprint, we because this come with heating bag, heater bag. We will need to check is that with heating heater bag.